Okay, so before you ask, yes, these are foam balls. I'm not going to break anything in the house. But it does bring me up to a very good point of uh, practice makes perfect. That's true whether you're trying to do a, about, I don't know, a 20 foot chip versus anything like blogging or freelance writing. The more practice you get in to do something, the better. I mean, Jack Nicholas didn't wake up one day and decide to be a professional golfer. It takes a lot of practice to get to a certain point. So, what kind of ways can you practice on the internet? Well, I'm Michael with Writer's Sanctuary, and today I'm going to go over some of the best methods that you can use to practice your writing online. So, how do you go about practicing online as a writer? Well, personally, I like to implement practical methods that will actually lead to something. For me, they just feel more productive. First of all, start by learning and researching everything you can about AP style writing. That's one of the biggest reasons why I suggest a lot of writers start off with textbook or constant content, sites like that, until you get the feel of what you're doing. Yeah, sure, you can go out and find private clients immediately, but most of them are going to be looking for experience. And if you can't demonstrate that you have a lot of experience, you're not going to get very many jobs. Like when I first started writing, I had no clue as to what I was doing. Textbook or editors helped me fine tune my skill and I went from there. But you don't have to do textbook or constant content and all those other content mills. You can always just take to Google and research everything you possibly can about how to write better. That's what I did. I took everything that the textbook or editors told me I was doing wrong and then went to Google and researched all the different ways to fix it. Never underestimate the power of Google. Another way to help you practice as a writer is to use websites that will actually pay you for creating content. Now these are free websites that you can use that will actually pay you for attracting an audience. So you can use websites like Vocal or Hub Pages or Medium and they might even toss a bit of money your way for the effort. In fact I know a lot of people who've made quite a bit of money off these kind of platforms and it gives you a great chance to practice what you can learn. A third method that will help you practice online writing is to set up your own blog. It's a bit more expensive up front, but it gives you a lot more flexibility. You have far more control over what happens on your own website as you do with something like Vocal or Hub Pages. Not to mention the fact that if you generate a decent audience, it'll make far more money. But as I said, it does cost a little bit more up front to get started, and requires a great deal of commitment and responsibility. And if you don't have enough money to start your own self-hosted website, there's nothing wrong with using systems like WordPress.com. These free websites will give you a little bit of your own slice of the internet. And like Vocal and Hub Pages, you do have to adhere to their standards. But it gives you a place to call home. It's a great place to practice if you really don't care if you get a lot of traffic or not. And there's ways that you can market a free website, but they're far more difficult to get more attention to than something that if you were to self-host. But it's still a slice of the internet that you can call your own. The fifth way that I use to practice writing online is to always make sure that social media is in check. Now, a lot of people don't really put much thought into the things they throw out on sites like Facebook and Twitter. But if you make a conscious effort to actually put in, I don't know, decent spelling and some grammar, it'll definitely help you in the long run. It'll help you flesh out some of those bad habits that you developed over the years. And yes, I've sent out some embarrassing tweets that I wish I could have edited, but I just wind up deleting. What's awesome is that Grammarly actually works with Twitter and Facebook, so it kind of helps you avoid some of the really bad ones. Another method that I used to help me practice for my writing was to write articles for myself. Now these were often just fake articles that I would write like product descriptions or reviews that no one else would see, but some of them I'd write them keeping for samples in case somebody wanted one. So I'd send them the best piece of work that I felt had the biggest impact. But there's nothing wrong with writing articles for yourself. Anything you can do that can help fine tune your skills is going to be beneficial. So I'll pick up anything off your desk and write a review about it. Perhaps you think you can write a better product description for your mouse. The point is, is to always keep writing. Next up is use something like typingtest.com. It's free and helps you improve your handling of the keyboard. Because when it comes to creating content, you have spelling and grammar are key, but your ability to type is also going to play a big part of whether you're successful or not. Now, I like using typingtest.com because it has a lot of different things that you can do to Fine tune your writing skills for different keystrokes. If you're messing up on certain keys, it'll analyze that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And it's free. You don't even need to sign up an account. You can just start typing right now. Next up is use online tools like Grammarly. Grammarly, Pro Writing Aid, and all those other ones will actually give you reasons why certain fixes are necessary. So over time, if you keep making the same mistakes, it gets ingrained into your head not to do it anymore. They help you learn how to structure sentences and paragraphs. And as long as you're willing to learn, they can be quite instrumental. 
And lastly, for people who are creative, use Wattpad. Now, I've been a big fan of Wattpad for many years, and the only reason why I stick with it is because it's the only one I really know. But there's several of them out there, some of them are even gauged towards specific niches. But if you want to try your hand at something more creative, then definitely something like Wattpad is very beneficial. Because for the most part, the people who will critique your work will highlight a lot of different areas. In fact, I have yet to come across a single person who acted like a troll. Most of the readers on the system, if they don't like something, they actually break down why and how you can fix it. But it gives you a chance to write a plethora of stories before you actually decide to try to publish something. In fact, the videos I have on this channel for Despair are also on Wattpad. So there you have it. Those are nine methods that you can use right now to get started practicing writing. And any one of them will definitely make a huge impact over time. Just remember that it does take an exceptional amount of practice. And sooner or later, you'll chip it in. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for more videos about freelance writing, WordPress, textbook, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll see you next time.